Croeso, Ibascotta, Cymru. Welcome to Fishing in Wales. Now we've been fortunate to fish this venue for a number of years and uh, I've done relatively well to be honest. It's very rare that they come down and have a, have a poor day. Um, I tend to, tend to fit the perch fishing in, in and around my barbel fishing up the river. So when the conditions are not really ideal, say we've had a couple of frosts, the temperature's dropped, or we've had a cold influx of, uh, of water into the river, then rather than going up and spending time or wasted hours trying to target something that's not going to necessarily feed in those conditions, I just alter and alter my approach to suit the species in the time of year. So you'll find me down here the majority of the time in the winter, and I've been fortunate to, uh, over the last couple of weeks to have a couple of really good days taking fish to, to 3.4 ounces, which by national standards is not huge, but from my point of view, as as a lovely fish. Any, like I said earlier, anything over two pound, I think in my eyes is a, is a specimen perch. But I've had some really, really good days taking trios of two pounders and then topped off with a fish of three pound four. But they are here. And that's one of the biggest obstacles you need to overcome is actually finding the water that contains the size of fish that you want to target. So rather than going, I don't know, down a canal where there's got fish to one pound, you've heard of a couple of two pounders coming out, which might not necessarily be true. To spend that extra bit of time actually finding the venue which contains the fish you're after and that's half the battle it makes no odds how good you are as an angler if you're not fishing a venue which is actually contains the quarry that you're trying to you're trying to catch and to target you're not going to catch them so the, the main thing to do is to, to make sure the water you're targeting actually holds the fish you're after right so we thought we'd take um, two minutes just to show you this rig that we were using super duper simple um, all it consists of is a small eight to ten inch uh, mono hook length attached to a swivel got a buffer bead to stop the lead passing and a nice big ring on the lead all that's for us to obviously help minimize the resistance and, uh, and ensure the perch takes a bait confidently we're using basically a scale down pike setup so we're using um, but uh, but indicators little drop offs so when a perch picks our bait up and moves away the line comes out the clip and the line can pass freely so the perch doesn't feel the resistance and obviously you get a better at bowls and more positive runs. Hopefully I'll find that little shoulder of silver now. With regards to the tackle, an appropriate tackle, I like to lean towards a specimen approach. So I'm using a pound, a rod between a pound test curve and a pound and a quarter. I've coupled that with some eight pound mono on my reel. I'm just using a basic uh, egg beater style reel. Nothing complicated, nice and simple. Same with the rigs. Um, this style of fishing, nothing needs to be complicated. The more simple you can make it, the, the better your angler becomes because you're not spending time messing around with and overcomplicated rigs when in fact you don't really need them. So rather than now, you're just concentrating on locating a perch. Now some of the best places to find them if you're fishing for them in the winter. You want to try and look for um, deep holes next to, next to margins or deep holes next to islands. Like where I'm fishing today, I've got a, a trio of islands in the middle of the lake and I'm anchoring a, a bait just off the side of them in the deeper water. Other things to look for would be aerators, anything that offers a bit of shelter. Because as soon as that sun comes up and it gets bright, the perch will literally go into the shade and try and get out of that bright sunlight. The joys with perch fishing is you can use a whole multitude of methods to target them from fishing with lures and you go into that there's so many different disciplines of lure fishing you can do and that's just the one style of fishing you can fish like a match approach which consists of using a pole cutting in chopped worm and fishing worm on the on the hook but yeah there's absolutely loads and loads of options with regards to perch so i think that's what makes them so popular because it's not just one discipline you can target them with you can use a whole variety of methods and yeah it keeps it interesting so once you become not necessarily a master of one you know but you've become familiar with it you can swap over and you can change to another style so that makes them really interesting although you can use a multitude of tactics to target perch one thing it's worth doing is just to check 
every venue you go to will have a, a specific set of rules that you need to adhere to. So obviously, before you go about, I don't know, casting live baits or lures abound, just make sure that the, the rules state that you can actually do that and just check and be mindful because every place is different. Now White Springs caters for everyone. You've got various pools around the complex. You've got a specimen lake, you've got a match lake. Um, obviously you've got the pit which we're fishing today and you've got the pleasure lake. Now all of these lakes contain specimen perch as well as specimens of other species. But obviously there's something here to, to cater for everyone. So you can come down, you can, have a, you can have a day on a perch and if you've got your tackle with you and you're staying in the caravan at the top, you know, we can swap it over there and have a day on the carp as well. Whether you're happy sat in the seat box fishing a pole or if you sat down a pair of bite lambs or something to, to offer everyone. Discover fishing in Wales 